All right, I'm back. So new example. Um, so as you can see, this has a different, um, it's going the opposite way. It's opening up instead. Um, so the axis of symmetry, again, that's where it would just fold in half and be the same on both sides. Um, you can kind of see this right here. I'm going to just sort of make that a dotted line. Um, so that's the middle of it. And you can always find that if you find the vertex, which is like the highest point or lowest point, that is always also going to be a clue as to what your axis of symmetry is. So um, this is where X is one. So on this particular graph, the scale is going up by one, one, two, three, four, five. So the axis of symmetry is where X is one. We can see that. Um, the roots, now here's where things get a little tricky. So you, the roots are right here. It's where it crosses the X axis, but I don't know exactly what spot that is because it's not exact like our last example was. So I'm gonna pull up Desmos. All right, so there's Desmos. So you type in your y equals x minus one squared minus two, your graph shows up, and then what you can do is use, um, use your mouse and hover over these uh, roots and it'll tell you the exact amount. So, had to click on it to get the dot to come up. But this um, root is at, I'm just gonna write it here, so I don't think I'm gonna memorize that number. Um, negative 0 0.4140, and then I'm gonna hover over my other root. And that is at 2.414 comma zero. Okay, so those are my roots. Um, and then while I'm here, I'm gonna just go ahead and see what point that is. Um, that's gonna be our uh, y-intercept. Lost that word for just a second. That's our y-intercept. So I'm gonna go ahead and hover. That one is an exact number, zero, negative one. So I probably didn't need to be in Desmos to get this one, but Desmos just makes it easy. So um, I'm gonna just take note of that. Okay, zero, negative one. All right, so now that I've gotten my exact numbers where they weren't obvious, um, just in the picture graph, I'll go back to the assignment and now I can fill in some answers. Okay, I was just making sure I had the right equation in Desmos. I did. Okay, um, so we found axis of symmetry. We already put that, but I erased it. Um, X equals one, and then the roots I got from Desmos are negative 0 0.414 comma zero and 2.41, I thought it was 414. I think I just didn't write that correctly. Um, comma zero. The y-intercept was at zero, negative one, which actually I can tell. So there's the y-intercept right there, which is at zero, negative one. Um, is the vertex a maximum or minimum? So it is a minimum. So it's a minimum if it's ever the lowest point, which it is in this case. Um, so you can either highlight it or type it out. Does it open up or down? It opens up up. Okay, so I know that was only two examples, but I hope it was enough to um, get you started on the homework assignment, and I will see you when I get back from Idaho.